Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever in the world you might be watching. Microsoft have finally given us the ability to create a waterfall chart in Excel 2016, Excel 2016. If you don't have that version, then in the description below the video, there is a link to uh, a manual method to create a waterfall chart. What is a waterfall chart? It shows us the effect of cash flows, positive and negative, over a period of time. Now this is our goal. We want to finish up with that particular waterfall chart. As we move through the video, what we'll see uh, are a set of tick buttons here and I'll tick off each individual procedure so that we know where we are at any one time. You can pause and restart the video as you need by simply pressing the spacebar. Firstly, create this set of sample data that you see on the screen or you can download the file from the link also in the, in the description below. Then we need to convert the data set to a table by clicking on any particular uh, cell in the data set and then go to insert table. Click OK. The table has headers, that is month and cash flows, and you'll see that the data has been created to a uh, to a table. This means that as you add cash flow for each period, the chart will automatically update. So we've created our table over here. Now the next step here is to enter a sum function in cell D18, which we'll do here. Click in here in D18 and then in the Home tab simply click the Auto Sum button there. And now we just need to select the cells there and press Enter. Next, enter a starting balance. Up here we'll say it's $10,000 and press enter. The cells have already been formatted to a currency for uh, better viewing. So now we select both columns. Thus down to December, January, February, March etc. down to December and then we choose the insert button and over here in the charts group we'll see as we hover our mouse over each uh, uh, icon that it will tell us what type of chart can be inserted. So here's the one that says insert waterfall among others but we want the waterfall chart. So we'll click the drop arrow and click on waterfall, the very top one. And there is our waterfall chart. Now all we have to do at the end of each month, enter in your uh, numbers. So we'll keep it the same as the, as the goal. So the first month is 2,800. That is, that's the value of the port, uh, share portfolio is higher. It's increased by 2,800. Now as you press enter, you'll notice that the chart has updated. The blue figures are uh, where the cash flow has been positive. What's our next one? We'll look at the goal. It's minus 3,000. So we go back and we tick minus 3,000. And we press enter. And there we see in a different colour the fact that there has been a reduction in the um, uh, in the in the balance of the share portfolio. The end value is now 9,800. Let's have one more. The next one is a positive result of 4,000. So we'll add 4,000. And there we are. Now what I do see in the goal 
is that the negative figures have been uh, shown in red with a minus sign in front of them and I purely arrange that by uh, simply selecting all of the cash flow cells and using conditional formatting and saying here highlight the cell rules uh, where they're uh, less than zero click OK and there we see the conditional formatting so it's really quite simple there is nothing difficult about the creation of a um, uh, of a, a waterfall chart and we've done these steps insert the waterfall chart into the data for the next month the chart has updated automatically and you simply re repeat those steps as you need now if you click on the chart you can resize it thus and you'll probably find you do need to resize it when the uh, uh, number of months that are entered uh, grow now we'll give that a chart title and we'll make it the same as the goal share portfolio value share portfolio value and press enter and there we are that is how quite simply folks we create a waterfall chart now in Excel 2016 remember that the waterfall chart is not available in earlier versions of Excel that is 2013 and below but as I mentioned before if you wish to create a waterfall chart manually there is a link in the description below the video uh, which will take you to a YouTube video which will explain the steps that you need to take thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe uh, a thumbs up would be very nice and uh, we appreciate you watching this particular uh, video we'll see you next time bye for now